After making Linux videos on this dual GPU ASUS laptop for two and a half years, I got a pure AMD laptop as I mentioned in this video. And recently, I upgraded this AMD 6700 XT to NVIDIA 4070 Ti because I'm a spoiled kid and wanted to see what it's like to run NVIDIA on a single GPU setup. Suddenly, I realized NVIDIA GPU is not always the culprit of all my issues when using Linux. So in this video, let's talk about what is the ultimate setup for Linux users and is NVIDIA really that bad compared to AMD GPUs? I have encountered several GPU issues which can be categorized in three dimensions. Dual GPU, a single AMD or NVIDIA GPU. Since I haven't got a chance to play with an Intel NVIDIA dual GPU setup for some time and I haven't seen an Intel Arc GPU in real life yet, I'll leave them out. Let's start with the dual GPU issues. This laptop was one of the first gaming laptops feature AMD 7 nanometer x86 CPU chip, which means it has both AMD and Nvidia GPU inside. And at the time, the Nvidia Prime program on Linux was only aimed for those Intel Nvidia dual GPU laptops, so the compatibility was an issue. Until the time I started this channel in 2022, there was already an ASUS Linux website tackling this new combination. But back then, it was only available for Arch and Fedora. Popular distributions like Linux Mint or Manjaro were not on the supporting list. And it has been two years since this laptop was released onto the market. This situation has been massively improved as time passed, but I'm still using this laptop to record all the less install Linux series videos because I still encounter GPU issues from time to time. And I want to provide some reference for people with similar errors. The second issue with the dual GPU is that in some immutable systems that do not support NVIDIA proprietary drivers like Endless OS, not installing NVIDIA driver does not mean the NVIDIA GPU will stop booting up and the laptop will save some power. No, these distributions will spin the fans like crazy trying to make the dedicated GPU work. They'll cook the laptop non-stop. This is not happening on the major distributions with compatibility in mind before installing the NVIDIA driver like Fedora or Ubuntu. So be vigilant if you decide to go for an unpopular distribution. Make sure it won't fry your machine before installing. Another issue with this laptop is the HDMI port. I know some gaming laptops equipped with the HDMI port directly connected to the dedicated GPU, but not this one. In the early days, this port cannot utilize the dedicated GPU in Linux after NVIDIA driver was installed on some distributions. But now, I haven't seen this issue for quite a while. Additionally, the compatibility issue is not only seen at the GPU side. I started to record myself using Bluetooth keyboard and mouse in my recent videos just because I found in multiple cases, distributions could not recognize the Bluetooth adapter on the Intel Wi-Fi card in this laptop. And solving it required several different approaches depending on whether the distribution was an immutable system. Given it is not a framework laptop, I cannot swap components easily. I had a lot of fun and confusion tinkering Linux on it over the years. Now let's move on to the single GPU setup. Before getting the desktop with an AMD GPU, I blame all the GPU related issues of this laptop on Nvidia because most of them were caused by the Nvidia driver not running properly. So I was extremely confident that you would be trouble free when I chose a pure AMD GPU setup, but I couldn't be more wrong. It is true that there is barely anything I need to tinker with if I just want to gain. But as soon as I started to do some creative work, I bumped into some issues. First, 
the OBS Studio cannot pick up the AMD hardware encoder if I don't install the proprietary AMF package from AMD. This took me by surprise as both AMD GPU and OBS are heavily praised by all the Linux users. However, they don't work together without tinkering. Second, DaVinci Resolve also needs extra packages to work with AMD GPU. And this is where those gaming distributions like Nobara and Bazai OS shine, as they address both of these issues for AMD GPUs specifically. So the message here is that AMD GPU doesn't mean trouble-free on Linux, especially for creative works. After switching to NVIDIA, everything feels like a breeze because I found NVIDIA GPU was actually better than AMD when it is the only GPU in the system. First of all, with Linux Mint Edge, I didn't have to reinstall the whole system. All I did was use the driver manager to install the NVIDIA proprietary driver on top of the existing system. Then all my gaming setups worked. I know for Windows, swapping the GPU either from AMD to Nvidia or vice versa requires a system reinstall. On Linux, it only took me 5 minutes to make the system functional. Second, after installing the driver, I saw the hardware encoder in OBS right away. And DaVinci Resolve was also working. Although the free version DaVinci doesn't support H.264 and AAC codecs, and I needed to convert the video file in order to use it, it was still functional without any system tinkering needed. The last thing I found that Nvidia is better than AMD GPU is of course the ray tracing which I have never experienced with a 1660 Ti on this laptop. I stopped constantly on the buildings in New York when playing Marvel's Spider-Man Remaster to appreciate the awesome effect this 4070 Ti card brings on the table, while still beat the game within a week. Reports of a tour bus taken hostage by escaped prisoners. Incident is ongoing in the West Village. Sorry for the delay in making videos. So the conclusion here is, single GPU is better than multiple GPUs. Nvidia is better than AMD when running solo for creative works. Linux is better than Windows for GPU swapping. And ray tracing is awesome, even on Linux. With all that said, it's time to end this video. But I wonder, what hardware do you use? And what is your experience with different GPUs on Linux? I love to hear your story in the comment down below. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.